652 time for the morning sprint. Let's start with a look at the drought monitor this morning showing things getting worse in Dane County. The latest update shows a drastic upgrade in red with extreme drought in Dane, Sauk and northeastern Iowa counties. The monitor takes gather data that was gathered on Tuesday so it actually doesn't factor in the rain we had earlier this week. But Kelly tells us because areas northwest of Madison didn't see much rain, this is still a major concern for much of Wisconsin. Investigators in Janesville now say a car pulled from the Rock River was reported stolen about 30 years ago. A citizen was using a sonar device on the river and discovered the vehicle on Monday. Authorities investigated. A dive team then attached a tow rope to the car and pulled it out. Records show the car was reported missing in 1993. That case is now considered closed. Also in Rock County, a first warned traffic note for a highway closure across most of the county. Starting this week, crews will be replacing culverts and fixing the pavement on Highway N outside of Whitewater. The highway will be closed to all traffic between Highway 26 and Warner Road. That starts this week. It won't reopen until the end of August. Monday marks five years since the Sun Prairie community lost its fire captain. Corey Barr was captain of the Sun Prairie Volunteer Fire Department. He was killed while checking a gas leak when the building exploded. To honor him, Sun Prairie Fire and Rescue will be participating in several gatherings on Monday. Sun Prairie Fire and Rescue Company says all are welcome to leave a flower, note, or memento at the statue. After well-documented delays due to bad weather, Concerts on the Square kicking off its 40th season for the next four weeks. Staff helping with the event say they haven't seen cancellations like this in their decades of being involved. Weather permitting, the show will go on Wednesday. The theme is Wisconsin celebrations. Well, heads up, if you are driving through Kenosha County today, uh, State Patrol is going to be out checking for speeders using drones on I-94. The State Patrol says it's easy for law enforcement to spot speeders this way. And they announce these things in advance so drivers know to slow down. By the way, Dane County is also ramping up enforcements right now against speeders, drunk drivers, and seatbelt violators. Dane County public health officials say they will stop trying to collect fines from a dance studio they claim violated a health order during the pandemic. The Oregon dance studio, A Leap Above, was cited in December 2020 with a $3,200 fine. It claims the studio violated a public health order in place at the time with the performance of the Nutcracker that had more than 100 attendees. A Sauk County family returning from a heartbreaking mission after their daughter died while climbing in South America. Now the Doolittle family is remembering Cassie by giving glass stones with her ashes to family and friends urging them to place the stones at the summits of their own climbs. The Doolittles hope Cassie's story will continue to inspire others in the future. Two firefighters are dead after a fire broke out on a cargo ship in Newark, New Jersey. Take a look at this. A fire happened on a 12-story ship. It was docked in Port Newark on Wednesday. Officials say the fire started in six or seven cars on board, then spread to other floors of the ship where the firefighters became trapped. Five other firefighters were also injured. All right, good morning. Five minutes away from a 7 o'clock, watching a cluster of showers and storms moving across Nebraska, South Dakota, into western Iowa. That's the hope for some rain that'll be possibly moving into western Wisconsin going into the evening hours. It does have to fight some drier and cooler air that we have here currently. It's 59 in Madison, 46 in Lone Rock, 39 right now in Camp Douglas. Temperatures are going to be running a little bit below average this time of the year, but we'll see a lot of sunshine this morning. Some clouds spreading in during the afternoon hours. We'll watch that chance of rain spreading into southwestern Wisconsin toward 5 o'clock. Madison area, about 7 to 8 o'clock. If it holds together, that'll be the time frame for getting some of that rain. Temperatures in the upper 70s today. Our first war forecast into the weekend. Just a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm Saturday. Otherwise, generally dry this weekend. And we do have some chances of rain next week. Nothing will organize going through next Friday. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us, folks. Have a great Friday. We'll be back with another update in half an hour.